the essence of the folk blues tradition is alternation of the thumb on many many songs it's not all of them uh, improvising for me the essence of the folk tradition especially from the 60s blues onwards is sticking not very closely to the original improvising whenever you feel the need whenever it moves you but the alternation of the thumb is there in thousands upon thousands of pieces in Nottingham Town, uh, I do a drop D tuning. So I tune the E down to a D. This is how I do it. I alternate playing six and string four, let them sustain. And the string six E tuner is gonna go down about a whole turn. What I'm doing is I'm listening to string six and four, and I'm listening out, not just for the sound of an octave, but for the vanishing of the beat difference as the wobbling sound, which is fast at first, slows down as the frequencies start to become more related. And there it is. So close, I can't really tell a great. Minuscule difference. Then, 6464 four with the thumb. The next thing I think is to learn to play the tune with that alternating thumb, and this will feed into the chords that you'll play eventually. So it's kind of like step one, you, but you're not going to stick rigidly to it because, as I say, that's not something that you need to do in folk music or music of this style. Here's a tune. So again, as in folk music, trust your ear, learn by ear, one note at a time. But I'm going to help you out a bit on this one. So, in Nottingham Town, string two fret three, in open second, no, um, Tumun Town, oh, string one, open one open, dum, oh sorry, open one, no, man, tumun, then it's back to string uh, two fret three, in Nottingham Town. It's a bit clunky to play the, it's better to do a hammer on. So I'll play three, open, in, no, then a hammer on, open to one, turn. So play the open, tap down very quickly, move the finger very quickly and sustain the pressure, squeeze when you get it there. Then string two, fret three. So first tiny little phrase. phrase. Not a soul would look up. String one, frets three and five. Watch the pattern. Twice, once, again. Three, five. Sing along if you can to these things. Not a soul would look up. Then I try to put the bass line in. Not a soul would Those two phrases together, fragments. In Ottoman town, not a soul would look up. Did you notice I sang, soul would look up, but I played. Soul would look up, played them together the same. So would look up. You don't have to. It sounds better, I think, if the, the pattern on the guitar is more even and you add in the ornamentation in the voice. So instead of so would look up, you sing so would look up. So you slur with an appoggiatura up to the to the A. Not a so would if I just sing and play the bass line only, again. That's a lot of fun and is awfully close to sounding complete. In Ottoman town, not a soul would look up, not a soul would look up, not a soul would look down. That's a bit slow, I tell you. Not a soul would look up. 
see how it sounds really good, even with just a drone D and D. So there's some hints on getting into the, the track. Um, um, as you'll hear me uh, imitating Bert Janschus and a lot of people's styles, instead of just the tune, sometimes I let it drop out and I do an arpeggiation or a broken chord on the uh, on, on the, a finger pick a finger picking pattern on the chord. So for example. one more element to the piece so learning the pattern five and two uh, three four uh, two six three four just together together finger thumb finger thumb finger thumb so it's only the very first beat with the thumb and finger are playing together. The rest of the time they're fitting in. To help you get along with that pattern I'm going to play it a few times and I'm going to slow it right down. Six and two together at the beginning. Six and two again. Six and two with thumb and middle. Followed by three four. So six and two, three, four. Six and two, three, four. Two, six, three, four. Three, four. Together. Two, six, three, four. And then. This is a real guitar player. Six and two, two, th three, four, sorry, two, six, three, four, six, three, four. For expert players who can play super fast and super clean, play slowly. <laughs> it's a lot of fun and it's really in helps you develop your technique, helps me to develop my technique. I hope it helps you. Put a chord on. So what we have here, the very first chord, um, looks essentially as a D major shape, but there's no third in it, so the middle finger doesn't play that F sharp on string one, fret two. Instead, we're just playing the fifth of the chord, uh, the A in this D chord, and another D. So we have a, a D and a D together, and then an A third string and a D on the fourth string so it's just D's and A's so it's a, a drone one last thing a great chord in the song is this Strictly, theoretically speaking, it's a D7, but there's no, there's no F sharp, so it's not D7 and it's not D minus seven. Yeah, it's not D minus seven either. It's just a, it's the drone with a flattened seventh in it. And you hear the thumb now instead of playing six four. He's playing 6-3, and that interval there is a, is, is a minor seventh, quite amazing feel, you know? Because you're so used to hearing oct octaves in the song, when you finally get to it, quite something, and it launches the song off in a slightly different direction.
said one last thing, two last things ago, but there's one more thing to work on, which is the string one uh, uh, mordant. Um, well, I suppose it's, yes, it's a mordant. You play the open E, you hammer on fret one, and you pull off. So it's decorating, uh, it's a decoration of the note E. So instead of, we have. Bert Jansch puts in a really lovely fret slap on it. Um, I find it hard to do with my classical. To get a fret slap, you put your finger under the string and give it a good pull away from the frets. some calluses to be able to do it with any comfort. And I need stronger fingers. But a little bit of one. I'm a bit of a wimpy, light, delicate kind of player. So I find that hard to do. But if another way of getting around it is if you um, if you approach just as you're about to do the mordant, um, if you play a little bit more quietly. Um, um, here we go. So approach rather quietly and then suddenly get that snap um, as you, lead, as you uh, lead away from it. Missing it out, just playing straight. Still beautiful. Um, make sure that you get the the pull off, the downward part of the slur. So the upper slur is a little easier, I think. Um, and I think it's far more like quick than. that the D isn't too loud. So there's some ideas on how to play Nottingham Town and if you're interested let me know and I'll start filling out on the rest of the piece as well.